Hi everyone, it's uh, Rob Jersek from One Cloud X. I just wanted to take the time today to walk you through some cool things that we've built around the NetSuite dashboard for a professional service or a, or a software company or anyone that has an organization that uses projects, needs to manage people, needs to manage milestones, schedules and the like. So, so we had a demo probably about three, week, three odd weeks ago with a potential client and um, the team and I had worked together to build a beautiful dashboard for them, for their senior management to be able to view this information on a, on a, um, on a tablet, um, on a mobile device and the rest. So, so what I want to show you just quickly is the capabilities that we've done around using tiles, using some of the um, you know, project elements to use conditional formatting to highlight some of the milestones. Um, and also at the same time, you know, there's a project profitability reporting aspect with NetSuite, but also displaying that information um, onto a dashboard to be able to have some visibility as to how you're tracking against the budget versus what you've committed or planned um, versus the actual and therefore how much you've actually burned. So in real time, you can see for each and every project task, how you're actually tracking. And then the other great thing is with just a very beautiful, colorful sort of um, resource plan where you allocate um, individuals to relevant project tasks and, and each and every individual color represents a, uh, a different aspect of the, um, of the actual project. So, so yeah, I, so maybe I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through how I've gone and set it up and, um, and I think it's pretty cool. So from a tiles perspective, what you do is you just go and create, um, you know, a dashboard tile that is of a type of a scorecard. And then what, we all, what we're doing is just creating a saved search report, which actually has the criteria, has the actual results that you're wanting to, to show up on, the, um, on that dashboard tile. So it's just a very simple um, saved search report that looks at the total estimate to complete of an actual project where you're looking at for a particular um, criteria of, you know, this is the project portfolio we're looking at. We're looking at cost as the account, as the uh, as the amounts, um, and obviously the timeline type is global with an actual aggregation of the estimate at completion entered. Um, and then once you've done that, um, you go back to your, your tile and then you define your relevant tile colors, your font colors, your size, and effectively how you want it to look on your actual uh, dashboard. And once you're done, this is what it actually looks like, and the same for the others. So. So this is an actual view for every single project, what we're estimating the actual cost to complete um, versus the current spend today versus all the actual purchase orders that have been in the system and applied uh, compared to what the actual plan delivery date is for those projects that you're consolidating and you're viewing it at a portfolio level, right? And then obviously down here, I've just brought some, um, you know, some um, save search views around elements of project and then use conditional formatting so you can see the actual duration, the, hour, um, the, the, the status of each and the color coding for each and every one. Um, but the great thing is, and this is what I've just realized probably uh, you know, a few months ago, is there's that two arrows function that actually expands the actual total view so you can see it, to see the total um, view for each and every aspect on your dashboard and you can easily just close it up as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. And, and, um, and then the other cool thing is, like I mentioned around the project profitability reporting, without having to go into the separate reports, we can actually publish those reports through safe searches onto the NetSuite dashboard. So you can look at for a particular project, for a particular project task, what the estimated budget is that's contained in the work breakdown structure of that project, how much is actually planned in terms of how many purchase orders have been entered against the relevant um, project task, by using the Suite app that NetSuite's got on their um, on their Suite app store called uh, called Project Task Procurement to Project Task, I think it's called that you can easily freely download. And what that does is actually creates a a um, a separate tab on the project task to have purchase orders created or or supplier bills created against an actual task that you want to allocate those costs to. So that's where this is coming from, and the actuals re represent the actual bills. Um, which is the actual, uh, you know, supplier invoices, and therefore how much have you actually burnt against the uh, the planned budget versus actual? Um, so yeah, and this is this is just a very quick view. I just want to do. I just wanted to show you what we've built. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Give me a thumbs up on uh, on YouTube if you enjoy it. Thank you.